In an effort to better understand diseases that impact humans, scientists are increasingly employing genetically engineered animals, such as pigs that glow from the inside out and glow-in-the-dark cats and dogs. In order to achieve this, they are injecting animals with fluorescent proteins, which are typically green proteins found in the Aquera Victoria jellyfish, and cause them to shine. Scientists can keep an eye on the performance of changed genes thanks to fluorescent proteins. Even the 2008 Chemistry Nobel Prize was given to the method's creators in recognition of their achievements. Welcome to Give a Fact, and you are watching Top Bizarre Glow-in-the-Dark Animal Experiments with bonus animal testing facts at the end. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe for more great content or tell us what you want to learn more about in the comment section below. Now, let's get straight to the video, shall we? 1. Pigs In 2008, scientists in Taiwan claimed to have a world first, pigs that glowed from the inside out. While other scientists had developed pigs that were just partially fluorescent, these genetically altered pigs possessed glowing skin, eyes, and organs, including the heart. More than 260 pig embryos with fluorescent jellyfish DNA added by researchers were implanted into eight separate sows four of which were conceived. As a result, three male piglets were born with eyes, teeth, and snouts that were slightly tinted green during the day, but completely green at night after being exposed to blue light. 2. Rabbit Actually, this was an artistic undertaking. Edward Catch is a well-known artist who uses genetic engineering methods to produce one-of-a-kind living pieces of art. Catch first revealed his GFP bunny in May 2000. Alba was an albino rabbit that glowed fluorescent when exposed to blue light. The fluorescent jellyfish protein was put into a fertilized rabbit egg at a research facility in France to generate the bunny for Catch. Alba was actually just one component of the project, which was also supposed to include a public debate about the practice of manipulating genes in animals for research. Catch finally sent Alba to his house to live with his family after he was done with the project. 3. Sheeps Actually, just nine of these woolly mammals can glow in the dark, and they are in Uruguay. Researchers at the Animal Reproductive Institute of Uruguay injected these newborn lambs with a green protein taken from the Aquera Victoria jellyfish as soon as they were born. As the sheep developed, they appeared and behaved like any other four-legged fluffy balls, with the exception that, when exposed to specific UV light, they emitted a greenish glow. These green fluorescent proteins are typically employed to keep tabs on the activity of changed genes. In the research of diseases, they have proven to be of considerable use. Scientists who invented this method won the 2008 Chemistry Nobel Prize. In the case of these sheep, researchers hope to one day be able to apply this kind of process to produce animals whose milk has a super health-boosting effect. 4. Monkey the identical jellyfish DNA injection was used in this 2009 investigation, but for various reasons. Japanese researchers were curious to know if a genetically modified monkey's offspring would have the jellyfish gene. The team at the Central Institute for Experimental Animals in Kawasaki, Japan, added a fluorescent gene to the marmoset embryos, which were then transferred into surrogate females who produced five live births. The altered marmosets all had the genes in their bodies, Two of them passed the glowing gene to their young, marking the first time a genetically modified animal passed such genes down a generation. According to researchers, this could represent a significant step towards understanding Parkinson's and motor neuron disease. 5. Dogs In 2009, a team at Seoul National University reported having created the first transgenic dog in the lab. By cloning fibroblast cells that expressed the red fluorescent gene made by sea anemones, five beagles were created. Under natural light, we could see the pale skin's light red protein essence, while under ultraviolet light, the dogs glowed bright orange. Over time, the five healthy canines multiplied to produce their own fluorescent pups. The goal of the experiment was to demonstrate the validity of using transgenic animals, particularly dogs, as study participants for human diseases because of their long lifetime and regular reproductive cycle. Two years later, researchers at the same university created Tegan, a beagle with a controllable fluorescent gene. The dog glows green when fed food containing the antibiotic doxycycline and then exposed to ultraviolet light. 
The glow eventually dims when the medicine is no longer given to the food. The discovery, according to researchers, provides new insights into the genes that cause catastrophic human diseases, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. 6. Cats The feline immunodeficiency virus, an HIV close relative, can infect cats, primarily feral cats, of which there are reportedly half a billion in the world. In a 2011 study, a group of researchers from the US and Japan implanted a gene that gives cats the ability to resist this feline variant of AIDS. The green fluorescent protein was then added so that the cells could be easily marked. Both genes were transferred into feline eggs. When they examined the cats under a microscope, they could more easily track how the resistance gene evolved in their bodies. The cats, like the other animals, appeared normal during the day but had the ability to glow at night if required. 7. Fish The fact that beneficial industrial items like plastic or female contraception contain harmful chemicals known as endocrine disruptors is one of their biggest threats to wildlife. These compounds turn into contaminants that are bad for both human and animal health. They have reportedly been linked to breast and testicular cancers, as well as reduced sperm counts. So, it is clear why researchers could be interested in studying them. The issue has been that once endocrine disruptors are within the body, it is challenging to track them. In order to make zebrafish glow in areas where an endocrine disrupting chemical is present, a team of scientists used green fluorescent proteins and genetically altered the zebrafish. The fluorescent protein doesn't harm the fish, it just makes it easier to locate when examined under a microscope. Scientists can then use the fish's glowing green regions as a guide to pinpoint the potential health effects of the toxins. Bonus Animal Testing Facts 1. 115 million animals are reportedly utilized every year in the cosmetic industry. Regarding the animals used in animal research, several nations have adopted varying legal frameworks. For instance, in many nations, rats and rabbits are not counted toward the final numbers. Therefore, the number of animals used for experiments each year can only be estimated according to new studies from Cruelty-Free International and the Dr. Hadwin Trust. 2. More than $420 million has been spent on the development of non-animal testing techniques. Procter & Gamble has spent a lot of money over the past 40 years looking for alternatives to animal experimentation. P&G is the first of the top 10 companies in the beauty industry to actively advocate legislation that outlaws animal experimentation on cosmetics. Unilever has also begun to advocate for a worldwide ban on animal testing. With the practice officially prohibited in the EU since 2013, the European Parliament agreed to pass a resolution that will push for the global ban of animal testing by 2023. 3. It is confirmed that about 560,000 trials caused moderate to severe suffering in the animals being tested on. Over 500,000 trials on animals resulted in suffering, according to statistics. The Home Office in the UK defines mild suffering as temporary distress or moderate pain. Long-lasting distress or pain is referred to as severe suffering. These animals frequently endure this kind of discomfort or distress throughout the course of the experiment, which may run a few days to a few months or even until the animal passes away. And that is a wrap! What did you learn from this video? Let us know in the comment section below! We hope that our educational videos will help spread the knowledge so everyone can protect our world and biodiversity together. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you find our videos useful and want us to make more videos. Until next time, give a fact!